Assalamu alaikum. I'm your teacher, Asif Salim. Today, again, we are going to study quadratics, lesson number two of A level syllabus, paper one. Why we are studying quadratics? Why not some other topic? The reason behind this is according to the syllabus of A levels 9709, paper one, the topics are these quadratics, functions, coordinate geometry, circular measure, trigonometry, series, differentiation, and integration. Now, let's start over today's lesson. As the title states that we are going to study P1 of syllabus 9709, which is of A levels, topic is quadratics. And here we have 1.2. This 1.2 means that the topic is number one, and we are studying its second lesson. If we would be studying topic number three, then the first digit would be three, and the second digit represents its lesson, whether it is one, two, three, four, let's say if it is fifth lesson, then this title would state 3.5 and so on. So far we have learned that there are three forms of quadratic equations, expanded form, factored form, and vertex form. In our previous lesson, we have learned that how can we sketch a quadratic curve if it is in vertex form. We have studied all the five key points, all the five steps after which we can sketch it. Today we are going to discuss how can we sketch a quadratic curve if it is in expanded form. First of all, we will convert it into vertex form. So there would be some steps. By following those, we can convert it into vertex form. The steps are these. First, we are going to make coefficient of x square 1 if it is not already 1. Then we calculate half of coefficient of x. Then we add and we add and subtract its square. The first three terms then become a perfect square. After simplification, it will be converted into vertex form. Now let's do one example of expanded form. We have expanded form y is equal to 2x squared minus 8x plus 1. And we have the steps in front of us. We have the equation. Now let's see. Do we have coefficient of x square 1 as mentioned in the very first step? No, the coefficient of x square is 2. So let's take 2 common. After taking 2 common, we have x square coefficient 1 inside the brackets. Now follow the second step. The second step is calculate half of coefficient of x. The half of coefficient of x, the coefficient of x is 4. Its half would be 2, 2. Then make its square. Now we are going to add its square and subtract its square. That is, we will write plus 2 square minus 2 square. Now the first three terms will give us the perfect square as mentioned in the fourth step. So the first three terms give us x minus 2 whole square minus 2 square. And after simplification, opening brackets and doing some mathematics, simple mathematics, not a big one, we have our vertex form. As we have our vertex form, so we can use the knowledge of our, of our previous lesson and sketch it. To sketch the curve. That is, here A is 2, the curve would be U-shape, line of symmetry is X equals to 2, minimum value y equals to minus 7 minimum point 2 minus 7 y intercept is 0 1 x intercept we calculate x intercept if it is required if not then we can leave this step for x intercept obviously we will put y equals 0 so we'll have 2 or 1 x intercepts in this case we have 2 x intercepts now as we have enough information so let's sketch this quadratic now for this quadratic curve, first of all, we draw the line of symmetry. The line of symmetry is x is equal to 2. On this line of symmetry, we will plot the point, minimum point, 2 minus 7. Then we plot y-intercept, which is 0, 1. It's reflection, 4, 1. By joining these three points, we 
have our required sketch. If in the question it is required to plot the x-intercepts, we can label these as well. Now, now we are going to see how can we sketch a quadratic equation if it is in factored form. Definitely, there would be some steps. First thing is we are going to convert it into vertex form. Now, what are the steps to convert it into vertex form? First of all, we open the brackets and convert it into expanded form. Once it is in expanded form, we are going to follow the same steps as we have done before. That is, make coefficient of x square 1, make half of coefficient of x, add its square and then subtract its square. As a result, the first three terms again will become a perfect square. After simplification, we will have our vertex form. Now let's do one example of factor form. We have our example. We know the steps. Now let's follow them. The first step is convert this into expanded form. This is our first step. So we are going to open the brackets and convert it into expanded form. The second step, we have to see whether coefficient of x square is 1 or not. Yes, it is not 1. So take 2 common. After taking two common, the coefficient of x is 5. Now we have to find what is the half of 5. Half of 5 is 5 over 2. We, will, we prefer to write down this half in fraction form, not in decimal form. Now it's half is 5 over 2. So we add 5 over 2 square minus 5 over 2 square. So as a result, these first three terms will give us a perfect square. So this is our perfect square. Now we open the brackets, simplify it, follow simple mathematics. Then we have our required vertex form. Once we have our vertex form, we can follow the same steps as we have done before to sketch it. Now we have our vertex form. So now we can sketch it. The steps are the same. That is first we draw the line of symmetry, which is x equals to 2.5. Minimum value minus 1, minus 0.5, which is somewhere over here. This is our minimum point. Then y-intercept, which is 0.12. Its reflection is 5.12. Then we have this smooth U-shape. We can also label these x-intercepts if required, which are 3 and 2. So it means the process is the same. Whether we have a factored form or vertex form or expanded form, the ultimate target is to convert it into vertex form. Once it is converted into vertex form, we can easily sketch it by following the five basic rules. I hope that you have fully understood the basic concept of how to sketch a quadratic curve once we have converted it into vertex form. Keep listening, keep learning, keep smiling and keep coming back to this channel. This is your channel. It consists of all the information regarding O levels and A levels primarily and all these resources are free i'll be posting the free resources and free worksheets on this website soon so keep in touch bye bye